What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. Red Thorn, Info Card, I mean, Lineage 2 Revolution, Fortress Siege number 18, coming at you. And this one, I think, is going to be a doozy. It is a payback of Korean Legacy. They, the last time I reported a Fortress Siege, which was two weeks ago, it was Elemental versus Korean Legacy. Korean Legacy lost. This time around, we'll see what Korean Legacy is going to do. Before we begin, let's check out the combat power of both clans. Right now, Korean Legacy is on top at 128.0 million, point zero million, really 128 million. Elemental here, 117, that is a little less than 11 million. Combat power and totality for both clans. Before Elemental was on top by a lot. Not as much as this though. Let's head into the battlefield. But before we do, we need to see this. Y'all need to see this because this blew my mind. I think it blew a lot of people's minds. Battlefield, Fortress Siege. Here we go. This is for a B grade fortress. And Korean Legacy paid 641,107,992. Adena. A lot of controversy over this right now. Is Korean Legacy disbanding their clan before after this battle? Was this uh, a mess up? I don't know if there's a max button when it comes to bidding. I've never bid for one. But if there was, maybe this was just a, a, a quick, you know, oops, max bid, bid. Oh, damn, I messed that up. Maybe it was a drunken bid. But this certainly looks like it's their entire clan's Adena was poured into this. Or maybe they meant to put 64 million or 41 million and they just typoed it. Or maybe they really are disbanding and this is just one last hurrah. Who knows? I don't know. I tried to ask the Korean legacy leader. I got no response, so be it. The bug is back, by the way. Yes, I didn't, I was really hoping this was going to last more than a couple of weeks, but it looks like every week I'm going to have to delete the game, reinstall, so I can get rid of this insanity here. Elemental, up top here, the defenders in the blue. Korean Legacy, in the red, on the bottom, there is Elemental's leader, Dr. Reed. Because Korean Legacy are the attackers, I will be following them, as I always do. And here is Korean Legacy. We have two minutes before the battle begins. I'm looking for their leader, I believe. Oh, what's up, Fluffinator? Going over there to Korean Legacy, huh? Flipping it here! Hey girl, hey! That was kind of weird. Don't worry about it. Looking for a Korean Legacy's leader. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. There we go. And it is an archer, like last time. Again, interesting choice. They're stacking up on both sides. And there's Fubaria. I know that name, at least. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Both clans are stacking up on both sides. I think Korean Legacy is going to make this one actual fight. We have less than a minute before we begin. And I have ghosts in my house. That was very odd. I don't know what that was all about. 30 seconds before we begin. Battle will start soon. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fort C's number 18. Elemental versus Korean Legacy 2. Korean Legacy charging up here to go after Elemental's non-spawn gate defense towers. They are taking that one down very quickly. It is done. And it looks like the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy has already been taken down. And they are already going after the Holy Artifact defense tower here. Elemental has tried to imprint the Holy Artifact, but now they have 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds of time. And there goes that Holy Artifact defense tower of Korean Legacy. Elemental wasting no time going after this other one now. It is over half dead. We are only 
barely two minutes into this battle and Korean Legacy's Holy Artifact is wide open just about. This other Holy Artifact defense tower is about to go down. Dr. Reed here trying for some more time. Killed again. And as far as the altar imprints go, Elemental is now trying to get... And it looks like this gate was finally taken down. Elemental has gotten their altar imprint from a long time ago. They were trying to get Korean Legacies. Unable to do so. Korean Legacy unable to get their own. Korean Legacy trying to go for this Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Elemental. I'm sure there's a big battle going on down here for this altar imprint for that 30%. For Elemental or or to tie it up at 10. Green Legacy over halfway. Green Legacy about two seconds left. One second. Oh! Interrupted at the last second. That's gotta hurt. They try it again though. Green Legacy trying to put up a wall and get that 10% buff. In about two seconds, one second, and they have gotten their 10% buff. Elemental only has 30 seconds left on their own altar imprint, so that'll be interesting. A lot of stuff going on down here. What is going on down here at Korean Legacy's Holy Artifact? They have lost their final defensive tower. Wide open Holy Artifact here. Of Korean Legacies. We head over to here. Elemental. Korean Legacy try to get Elemental's altar imprint and we're interrupted. They are trying again. They are putting up. Oh, interrupted again. A lot of red here. I don't see any blue. There's a couple of blue. Interrupted again. Trying again. Green Legacy over halfway. Interrupted. Good defense by Elemental. They do not want Korean Legacy to get that 30% buff. But Korean Legacy is trying again. Over halfway. Almost there. Almost there. And Korean Legacy now has a 30% buff for the next 1 minute and 38 seconds. They are definitely going to try to take advantage of this. For sure. Dr. Reed trying and failing again. Looks like Korean Legacy is trying to take down the spawn gate. And they have done so of Elemental. Now they can come in from both sides. They are definitely rocking Elemental back on their heels right now with that 30% buff. But Elemental is winning this fight so far on Holy Artifact Imprint time. There goes a defense tower of the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Big battle going on here around Elemental's Holy Artifact. This Holy Artifact defense tower is, they are chipping away at it for sure. There it goes, it is gone. Both teams Holy Artifact are now wide open. Now there's the leader of Korean Legacy with an opportunity to get some, some catch up and get some time, not taking it. What is this leader doing? Korean Legacy's Alter Imprint is available and they are trying to get their own right now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm seeing here. They definitely could have gotten some time.
This is a strategy I've never seen before, where the leader can just waltz up and take it, even for one second or le a little less, and they, they aren't doing it. I've never seen that before. Green and Legacy about to get their own all their imprint, and they have done so. 30% buff for the next 38 seconds. It's almost like they're trying to prove a point here. You would swear that they are dragging this out on purpose. Forcing Elemental to use reds to avoid that very long cooldown on resurrec Resurrection. The altar of Earth imprinting One can only speculate though. Free and Legacy going for that 30% buff again. Interrupted trying again. Interrupted Elemental trying again, or trying for it, and now they are trying again, and interrupted. Big battle going on, Elemental's Holy Artifact right now. And there is Korean Legacy's leader, still attacking and not imprinting. Elemental interrupted. Green Legacy trying for Elemental's Alter Imprint now. Interrupted. We have... 22 minutes left in this battle. Green Legacy over halfway on Elemental's Alter Imprint. And there goes Dr. Reed. Green Legacy with 30% buff in the next 1 minute and 14 seconds. And the only thing the Korean Legacy Leader is doing is allowing Elemental to get more and more ahead in the tiebreaker. Dr. Reed taking a leisurely rest while he awaits the Resurrection Timer, which has indeed finished. What was that message? Player name, the clan leader has died? Did they, did, are they trying to put this in English? And that's how it, it showed up on the screen? Player name, the clan leader of guild name has died. Okay. Or at least they're trying. Before it was all in Korean that nobody understood. But we kind of figured it out by now. Green Legacy, trying for their own altar. Nobody down there to, to do anything. They're gonna get that easily. I'm not entirely sure what I'm seeing here. All the blue is up here to try to stop them from imprinting, but they haven't even started yet. They haven't even bothered to try. I would not be surprised if the, the clan Korean Legacy disbands after this battle. They have dumped their entire guild bank into fighting this. They're obviously showing that they can take on Elemental and Elemental's friends that have joined them for this battle. But they're not trying to win this battle. So it's like they're just going to waste Elemental's reds if that's what they're trying to do and just waste time. I would not be surprised if Korean Legacy disbanded. There's the leader, just shooting, not even trying. All right, now she's trying, finally. Got a couple of seconds there. We are under 19 minutes left in this battle. I take back everything I said.
but it still wouldn't surprise me with that big bid if they decide to just to prove a point and then and then take the castle for a week and then disband the clan. That would be hilarious. Free and Legacy dominating on the altar imprint. And there goes Dr. Reed. Killed. He must have resurrected. He must have a few Eva Saints up there on his team. Five seconds before Elemental loses this battle and they have interrupted the Korean Legacy but she got a good 15 seconds, he or she got a good 15 seconds or so and they are definitely ahead I believe in the tiebreaker of Holy Artifact imprint time. Their Korean Legacy's leader is back again, trying again. Getting a ton of time here. Five seconds before Korean Legacy wins this battle. And interrupted by Gene Pool. Coming up from behind. Ha! <laughs> Great job there, Gene Pool. Korean Legacy trying to win this battle again. There's Fluffinator trying to help out. Dr. Reed trying to do it too, but interrupted. Trying again. Gene Pool coming from behind again, like they haven't learned from the first time. But there goes Korean, Legac Korean Legacy's leader trying again, interrupted again, trying again. Tons and tons and tons of time Korean Legacy is now ahead of Elemental Y. Interrupted again. Korean Legacy trying again. Ten seconds. Dr. Reed trying. Gene Pool again. Wow, it's like they cannot see him coming at all. There goes Korean Legacy's leader. Not phased by all these interruptions and still alive. Korean Legacy trying for Elemental's Alter Imprint. Leader trying to win this battle. 10 seconds left. Will Gene Pool come from behind again? Three seconds left. And congratulations to Korean Legacy for taking revenge on Elemental after that battle from two weeks ago. Here are your stats. It was almost like they were toying with Elemental at one point. Standing there, not imprinting, waiting, waiting, waiting. But once they took that 30% buff and kept it, I mean, it was over. Elemental just had no, no chance from what I saw. They definitely started off hot and heavy though, Elemental. Crashing the gate, getting straight to that holy artifact. And then that's all she wrote. And those are your stats, ladies and gentlemen. Top members here, all five of them on Korean Legacy. Shoot. Uh, 13 of them on Korean Legacy. Great job, Korean Legacy. Better luck next time there, Elemental. Now we'll see what that bid was all about, if they're sticking around or not. Only time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.